Who doesn't need more USB ports? Sabrent's USB 3.0 hubs come in multiple sizes to provide an extra four ports in a convenient travel-sized form factor, along with their larger, separately-powered seven and even 10-port versions for connecting all your devices. This makes them great companions for notebooks or all-in-one desktops, where plugging in USB devices can sometimes be an anxiety-inducing juggling act. What's more, because the larger hubs are powered, not only are you able to use power-hungry devices like external hard drives and SSDs, the specialized 7 Plus 3 port model gives you three dedicated charging ports that provide up to 2.4 amps per port. That's enough to charge a tablet and fast charge a phone or other device at the same time. And if you want to keep your battery healthy and prevent overcharging, the convenient power switches let you disable any port's power without needing to unplug anything. All of Sabrent's USB hubs are compatible with Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, and offer backwards compatibility with USB 2.0 and 1.1 devices, so you don't need to worry about whether or not your device will work once you plug it in. With included power adapters and USB cables, it truly is just plug and play. Free yourself from USB port anxiety by picking up a Sabrent USB hub today. Sabrent's USB hubs are plug and play devices, meaning you don't need to do anything special to make them work once you plug them in. But if you're having trouble with your USB hub, here are some common fixes for you. If your Sabrent USB hub isn't powering up, the first thing to check is that your USB cable and power connector are both plugged in firmly on both ends, and that the wall adapter is plugged into a powered receptacle. To do that, check your surge protector to make sure that its switch is in the on position or see if your wall outlet is connected to a light switch. If that doesn't work and you find that your cable is kinked or frayed, or if the connection is unstable, then it's probably time to replace it. So you've done that and your Sabrent USB 3.0 hub powers up and shows up on your computer. But when you go to plug something in, the device gets power, but your computer isn't detecting it. In that case, check to make sure you've plugged the device into one of the blue colored ports on the USB hub and not one of the black ones. On Sabrent USB 3.0 hubs, black ports are for charging only. They provide more power than a regular port, but they're also incapable of talking to the computer. You won't damage anything by plugging it into the wrong port though, so just remove the device from the charging port and move it over to one of the others. Now let's say that you got everything working and you're able to connect devices, but copying files onto an external drive is really slow on the hub, but not when you plug it in directly to the PC. In this case, chances are good that you may have plugged your Sabrent USB 3.0 hub into a USB 2.0 port on your PC. USB is only as fast as the weakest link in the chain. So while your hard drive and USB 3.0 hub are capable of high-speed transfer, a USB 2.0 port will run over 10 times slower overall. On most consumer electronics, you can tell the difference between USB ports by the color of the plastic inside them. If it's a sky blue color, then it's USB 3.1. Boulder blue, and it's USB 3.0. Black is typically USB 2.0, and white is typically USB 1.1. In some cases, manufacturers just like to use their own colors as a design choice, in which case you'll need to consult your manual to be sure what speeds each port will be able to support. Now, if everything's working, but you've begun having trouble with wireless devices, you should know that USB 3.0 and especially USB 3.0 storage devices can interfere with 2.4 gigahertz signals like those found in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. While that's not likely to cause any problems with a powerful 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal, Weaker signals or compact adapters can be affected, and so too can lower energy devices like Bluetooth radios and wireless mouse dongles. In situations like these, it's best to match these wireless USB devices with USB 2.0 ports and separate them by as much physical distance as you can. And in the case of a wireless mouse, using a port closer to where the mouse will be used most often. USB extension cables can come in handy here, and many popular wireless mice have begun including them in the box. Now one final related note. If you've got multiple high bandwidth devices connected at once, like hard drives or SSDs, and you try accessing them all at the same time, you'll probably notice that the speed isn't quite what you're expecting. This is because while Sabrent's USB 3.0 hubs are USB super speed compliant and support up to five gigabits per second of bandwidth, this bandwidth is shared among all the devices connected to the USB 3.0 hub. If you're running late and you need all the speed you can get to copy that one crucial report onto your external hard drive, the best way to handle this scenario is to pause any other tasks until your most important transfers are complete. If you're still experiencing problems, feel free to submit a support ticket at www.sabrent.com.
Hello there everybody, in this video I'm going to introduce you to the 9-in-1 USB-C hub by Ickling. As you can see, it comes in nice and professional packaging to keep it safe while in transit. And inside of the box, you get your USB hub in a nice carrying bag. One of the nicest features about this hub is that the cord is flexible and you have many different ports to choose from which makes this a perfect accessory to the newer MacBooks. On one side of the hub, you have a SD card slot and a micro SD card slot. You also have two USB 3.0 ports that will support transfer speeds of up to five gigabytes per second and will also support power output of up to 4.5 watts. On the front side of the hub, you have a USB-C port that is for power delivery and is great for charging your MacBook or other laptop devices. Next to that, you have an ethernet port that can support network speeds of up to 100 megabits per second. On the second side of the hub, you have a VGA port that will support full HD at 60 frames per second. You also have a HDMI port that will support 4K at 30 frames per second. Last but not least, you have a headphone jack. So if you wanna connect a pair of headphones, you can do so, or you can even connect external speakers. As displayed on the screen right now, the Ickling 9-in-1 hub fits perfectly with the 16-inch MacBook Pro. It takes seconds to connect, and once you connect it, it stays secure. Now, let me demonstrate that no matter what you plug into the hub, my MacBook will notice it automatically. Both the SD card slots and the micro SD card slot show up almost instantly. It's also important to note that the micro SD card slot is spring-loaded for your convenience. Now, let me demonstrate with an external SSD. As you can see, as soon as I plug it in, it's noticed by my MacBook. What makes this the perfect USB hub for me is I can plug everything directly into it, but not lose my ability to charge my MacBook. Here, I have everything on my computer desk going through my MacBook, and it wouldn't be possible without the Ickling 9-in-1 USB Type-C hub. And if I need to take the hub with me or my laptop, all I have to do is disconnect a few wires and I'm all set. I can throw it in my backpack with me and take it on the go. 